All right, here's the Rainbird. We're gonna learn how to program it. And just in case you don't know, there's instructions on the inside cover, usually. They give you a big beefy manual that nobody wants to keep. And also they have a hotline number. So you should have lots of help if you need it. All right, before we actually start programming anything, I'm gonna really quickly show you all the parts of it. Here's a little alarm light, and that'll go on if there's a sensor that uh, is making the watering stop, or if there's a, a short circuit or an error in a valve or something's wrong, it can sense that, or when a programming error has been made. Here's a programming switch. Now you can have A, B, or C. So let's say you have, no, nah, I, I like this kind of watering pattern in the spring, that's A, and then in the summer, that's B, and then in the fall, I like it to change again. And uh, so you can set all different kind of variables and not have to go back, you know, when the weather's getting hot and say, oh, I need it to go on here and here and here. You just go, no, spring, summer, fall, and you're done. This manual start advance button is pretty good. Now let's go back to uh, programming A. If you push this in the middle of the day when the sprinkler is normally not supposed to run, you can go through the whole cycle automatically here. Uh, push that and it's starting at the first uh, valve and it's going to run for 20 minutes. That's assuming it's in the auto position. Now if you want to get rid of this you can either just cycle through everything let's skip to this sprinkler this sprinkler this one this one you know go through the whole thing and it'll turn off or you can just click it off hold it there for a while and put it back to auto this is the sensor bypass switch if you have a sensor hooked up you want it on active if you don't have a sensor at all you just leave it on bypass and ignore it all right, looking here, these are all the valve stations. Now, a station is the area in which the sprinklers are running. And you can have up to 13 here. Now, they have a few hooked up. There's a little latch here. If you pull this thing open, now last time I did this, I got a face full of wasps and stung several times. So, <laughs> and they were fast. So be careful. That's why I shoved this thing in here. They got up through this hole and uh, they didn't like being disturbed. Anyway, you can see here, these are called little modules, and you can look at I don't have a, a station 8, a 9, a 10, 11, or a 12, or 11, 12, but you can buy them and put them in. So if you have more areas you want to water, you can hook up more wires. Now here's how this works. You have the common uh, wire, so each, each uh, sprinkler valve needs uh, two wires to run. You have the common and then it'll take electricity from each one. So each one of these, there's the green one, uh, the yellow, orange, blue, brown, each one of those will run and this will send an electrical current to that valve and as long as it's getting a, an electrical current the sprinklers are going to be running. As soon as this electricity shuts off the valve shuts off. So that's how these things work. So if you want to add more stations you buy little modules and then you can go all the way up to 13. All right, now let's check the programming. Here, let's go to the current date. You want the current date, it's gonna display it. Here it says the 13th day of February, year 2014, and that's uh, correct. So, let's go to current. Oh, and if you have to adjust it, you can just go up and down in advance. So like, let's say, no, it's not the 13th, it's the 11th, or, there we go, advance. Uh, no, it's not the, that's how you adjust these, advance. We go to February, so you can change everything there. Now that's correct, so let's go to the time. Right now, it's 11.25 in the morning. That's wrong, so let's uh, go back down and advance, and then let's go down. All right, now we'll go to the next little blue setting here, watering start time. So. Now I want it to, the, the first station is going to go on at 8.45 p.m. I, I, yeah, that's the first station, and it's the first watering start time. So, yeah, that's fine with me. I'm going to click advance, and I don't have a secondary um, watering start time. So I could do one in the morning. Let's say I want to do a little bit in the morning and a little bit at night. So the first one will go on, maybe I say 8.45 in the morning, and then I click advanced and then I can add it you know up or down set a time here for the second one to go on again at 10 and I can have one go on at noon and I can have one go on at midnight so I have four times in the day where I can set this to 
to run. So those are the three you need to, to do to get this thing set up. This custom cycle part shows you the days of the week that you can select it to water. So I have it Monday on. I can turn it to Monday don't water. Tuesday is off, Wednesday off. So I can say no, I want you to water on Monday, water on Tuesday. Anyway, just the up or down. You just set it to the day you want to control and go up or down. Or if you flick it over to advanced cycles, it's on custom, which is this part. So you're saying, um, you want to do whatever you programmed here. You can change this. It's like, no, I want you to do only the odd days of the month, or I want you to do only the even days of the month. You see it went back to custom. There's four settings, custom, cyclic, odd, or even. Now, we know what custom is. We don't know what cyclic is. So on cyclic, you can say, I want it to go in a two-day cycle, or a three-day cycle, or four, five, six. So. You say, no, I, will, I only want it to water every five day out of, you know, in five day intervals. So, that's what that means. Let's go back here. Oops, I'm going up. No, we don't want cyclic. Let's see. Let's move back to custom. That's where we like it. All right. So, we've set the date we set the time we set when we want the the first cycle to start or any other cycle we know the days of the week we want it to go we set those now the run times this is how long each station is going to run and it depends on what you're watering you don't want to water a lawn the same you do as you know uh, a flower box and things like that so you can say i want you know valve one and you need to know which valves are what um you know more than 20 minutes less than 20 minutes you know and then you go to valve 2 20 minutes there so you can set each specific valve whatever duration you want now look at that no module 2 it says it's saying number 8 i don't have anything number 9 you know no mod 3 well that's this part so if I put in more of those, I could do, you know, eight, nine, all the way up. More stations, more watering options. Now, here's an option that they don't really tell you too much about in the manual, and nobody really uses. Uh, they don't explain this uh, as far as when this is in effect, but I think it's just automatically programmed for, you know, um, uh, fall and early spring. It's the seasonal adjust percentage. You can tell this... Uh, uh, timer to adjust the amount of watering time based on you know whatever you choose so I'm gonna go down to let's make it easy 50% so in the off season I want my uh, sprinklers to go half the normal watering time so if I go to um, station one this is actually only going to water for 10 minutes not 20 or if I chose a different percentage it just based on that so if I go to auto you could see now it says seasonal adjust. So this is kicked in. So my normal watering times are not going to be used, but it's going to adjust them by the percentage that I just chose here. So I don't want that. I'm just going to go back up, but that's pretty handy. Here where I live, you just shut these off in the winter because there's no need to have them. But in certain parts of the country, you're going to actually want to use that. Now, if you want to just test all the valves quickly and you don't want to have to run back and forth too far, you can go to test all valves. There it is. And it's going to test everything for two minutes. Each valve for two minutes. It will go through all of these two minutes at a time. So it gives you some time to check things out. That's a pretty helpful option. And I don't know if you have to click advance or not. Let's see. Yeah, you do. So you go to test all valves, click advance. Now it's running. And you know because I'm going to go back to auto. And you see... It still says run time two minutes on the first station. So if I just leave it off for a while, that'll get uh, shut off. Let's say there's a problem with your controller. It's either scrambled, it looks funny, something's wrong, or the display's blank. What you can do is push reset. Now that's hiding on the inside here. You get a pencil or something, or if you have a really sharp fingernail, you can get it in there. You push that down, and it'll reset the processor there. Now it's uh, nice because it won't reset the time and the uh, the date and the watering uh, programming. It'll just reset the information it needs to to get going again. 
Now here's a feature you might not know even exists. Let's say you live in a really weird place and you are banned from watering on Wednesday. And anybody who waters on Wednesday gets thrown in jail. There's actually places uh, that, um, for whatever reason, not many of them, but you can't water certain days of the week. Well, how do you do that? Because it's a little tricky, so it's not that hard. Remember we talked about the um, advanced cycles. It can't be custom. So you have to set uh, odd, even, or cyclic. So uh, let's go to odd days. Let's say that's what we choose. But, you know, wherever I'm living, my city ordinance will never let me um, go on a Wednesday. Okay? So let's say we go to flick it to Wednesday, hit off. Now look at that. Day always off. So anyway... That's how you do that, and then you just go, you know, back to auto. And uh, that way you won't be arrested and thrown in the slammer for watering your lawn, you bad person. Now here's another hidden feature. Now let's say you want to delay the amount of time it goes from station 1 to 2 or, or whatever. And you think, well, why in the world would I want that? Well, some systems uh, use a pump, and there's a recovery time, and I don't want to explain it, but... Sometimes you need that kind of thing. So here's how you do that. You turn the dial to off, and then you see this off key. You hold it down for three seconds, and it says delay. Now what that's doing is saying, hey, how, how long do you want the delay to go? You can set it from one second to nine hours, I think the top is. So I want it to delay. Now if I go up, I can go to five minutes with in in second second increments after five minutes it's going to go to a minute increments so i say give my sprinkler system a minute and a half before you go to the next one anyway that's a, a hidden feature that almost nobody's going to use but if you did need it there it is okay now we're getting into deep dark programming what is this auxiliary well that's on 13 that's right here auxiliary now you need a uh, module over there to use it. Now you can take one of these off, put it over there, and use your auxiliary. And the auxiliary is a, um, a section that is not affected by any sort of rain sensor or anything. So you can do like uh, garden lighting or a patio fountain or something. And how to do that is, let's see, you go to this one, and then you hold down... I don't know if this will work because there's nothing in there. Mm, it's not liking it. Okay, well if it did work, you hold down these for just half a second, both of these at the same time, and then what happens is it, it says, you know, hey, you, you're, you're going to bypass whatever sensor, well that's already bypassed anyway, you're going to bypass the sensor and um, and then you can go up and down to select bypass or not. Anyway, no, almost nobody really uses that. All right. Now, how do you clear everything out? Hey, I, I don't like anything program. I just want to start all the way over. Well, you go to Seasonal Adjust. And what you do now is you hold down these two buttons, the up and the down button. And it's going to show clear. Now, if I keep holding it down, it's going to clear it. See, it's threatening. And it says, okay, maybe you made a mistake. Threatening. And if I really hold it down, it's just going to change from clear to cleared. And everything's erased and you can start over. Now, it doesn't erase your time of the day and, and, and this stuff, but it erases all of this information. One last thing to look at is this battery on the inside. There's a 9-volt hiding back here. And what that's going to do is it's going to keep all the information stored if there's a power outage or a glitch or something like that. And uh, so just test that, replace it every once in a while, and then you don't have to worry about losing all the information. So anyway, I hope that's helped. And also, if you're going to watch the next video here, we have uh, these little sensors here. I'll talk about and I'll explain what uh, these little uh, ET, man this is called an ET manager, and that's actually synced up to, there it is, that little doohickey up there on the rain gutter. So if you're interested in learning about some extra features you can hook up to your system, uh, go ahead and look at the other videos. Thanks.